Ever wondered how to store food for long-term emergencies? This video is just for you. In our fast-paced world, groceries are just a quick drive or even a click away. But what if one day they weren't? What if a sudden natural disaster, an economic crisis, or even a pandemic made it impossible for you to pop over to your local supermarket or even order food online? In scenarios like these, having a long-term food storage plan could make all the difference. Let's imagine for a moment a natural disaster. Mother Nature can be unpredictable and sometimes, she hits hard. Earthquakes, hurricanes, floods, wildfires, they all can disrupt our daily lives in an instant, cutting off access to food and clean water. If you're prepared with a long-term food storage plan, you can ride out the storm without worrying about where your next meal is coming from. Or consider an economic crisis. We've all seen how quickly the economy can take a downturn, leaving people scrambling to make ends meet. In a situation where money is tight and food prices are sky high, a supply of storable food can be a lifeline, keeping you and your family fed and healthy. And then there's the threat of pandemics. As we've learned, they can shut down entire cities, even countries making it difficult to get the food we need. But with a stockpile of long-term food storage, you have the peace of mind knowing you have a buffer against the uncertainties of a health crisis. Long-term food storage isn't just about survival though, it's about self-reliance, independence and peace of mind. It's about knowing that no matter what life throws at you, you'll be able to feed yourself and your loved ones. It's about preparing today for the uncertainties of tomorrow. Understanding the importance of long-term food storage is the first step. Now, let's delve into the types of food suitable for long-term storage. Storing the right types of food is crucial for long-term food storage, let's dive into it. First up, we have dry goods. These are the staples of any long-term food storage plan. We're talking about items like flour, rice, beans, sugar, salt, spices, and pasta. Why are these foods so suitable for long-term storage, you ask? Well, when stored properly, they can last for years without losing their nutritional value. In addition, these foods are versatile, providing a variety of meal options to keep your diet interesting and balanced. Now let's talk about freeze-dried foods. These are meals that have been cooked, flash-frozen, and then had their moisture removed. The result? Foods that can last up to 25 years when stored properly, and all you need to prepare them is hot water. Just add water, and you've got a meal ready to go. They're lightweight, easy to store, and come in a wide variety of options, from fruits and vegetables to meats and full meals. But don't forget about powdered foods and drinks. These include items like powdered milk, powdered eggs, and instant coffee. Just like freeze-dried foods, these items are easy to store and can last for years. Plus, they're a great way to ensure you have access to essential nutrients and a good cup of joe, even in an emergency. And then, we have canned goods. These are great because they're already cooked and sealed, ready to eat right out of the can. They can last a long time, often up to five years, but be sure to check the expiration dates. Remember, the key to successful long-term food storage is variety. Make sure you have a mix of these food types to meet your dietary needs and keep meals interesting. Remember to hit that subscribe button and share this video to join our community, prepping for tomorrow. Now on to the next step, properly storing these foods. Storing your food properly is key to maintaining its longevity. Let's explore how. When we talk about long-term food storage, we're thinking decades, not days. And to make that happen, we're going to need a couple of key items. Mylar bags and buckets. Mylar bags are your first line of defense against the elements. These tough metallic bags are designed to keep out light, moisture, and pests, ensuring your food stays fresh and intact. Don't skimp on these. Quality matters when it comes to mylar bags. Now we've got our food in our mylar bags, but we're not done yet. Next, we place these bags into sturdy food-grade buckets. These buckets provide an extra layer of protection and make your food easy to stack and store. But wait, there's more. We've got our food in our mylar bags and our bags in our buckets but we need to take one more step to ensure long-term storage. Oxygen absorbers. These little packets work by eliminating the oxygen in your sealed mylar bag, creating an environment where bacteria and bugs can't survive. Now, to seal the deal, we're going to need a heat sealer. This tool is used to seal the mylar bags, ensuring an airtight environment for your food. Once sealed, the combination of the mylar bag, oxygen absorber, and bucket create an ideal storage condition for your food. Remember, where you store your food is just as important as how you store it. Always aim for a dark, cool, dry place. Light, heat, and moisture are the enemies of long-term food storage. By keeping your food in the right conditions, you're ensuring that it stays fresh and edible for as long as possible. 
With the right storage techniques your food can last 25 years and beyond. But what about the items you need for this process? By investing in quality mylar bags, sturdy buckets, oxygen absorbers and a good heat sealer, you're setting yourself up for success in long-term food storage. Keep these tips in mind, and you'll be well on your way to a well-stocked, long-lasting food supply. Having the right tools at your disposal can make long-term food storage a breeze. Let's find out what they are. First on the list are Mylar bags. These aren't your everyday plastic bags. They're made from a material that's tough, light and most importantly, impermeable to gases. This makes Mylar bags ideal for long-term food storage as they protect your food from oxygen and moisture. Two things that can speed up spoilage. Next we have buckets. Now you might ask, why buckets? Well, think of them as an extra layer of protection. Once you've sealed your food in Mylar bags you can place these bags into buckets with lids. This not only keeps your food safe from pests, but also makes it easier to stack and store your food supplies. Now let's talk about oxygen absorbers. These little packets are filled with iron powder that reacts with oxygen. When you seal them with your food in a Mylar bag, they'll absorb all the oxygen left inside, ensuring that your food stays fresh for longer. Oxygen is one of the main culprits behind food going bad, so these absorbers are a must-have for long-term storage. Last, but definitely not least, is the heat sealer. This tool is what you use to seal your Mylar bags. It works by applying heat to the opening of the bag, melting the material together to create an airtight seal. A good heat sealer is crucial because without a proper seal, your food won't stay fresh. So, there you have it. Mylar bags to keep the oxygen and moisture out, buckets for an extra layer of protection and ease of storage, oxygen absorbers to mop up any remaining oxygen, and a heat sealer to ensure your bags are sealed tight. Each of these items plays a critical role in long-term food storage. They help keep your food fresh and safe, ensuring that when the time comes, you'll have a supply of food that's ready to eat. With these essential tools you're well on your way to creating a long-term food supply. Let's wrap this up, shall we? We've covered a lot in this video, let's summarize the key points. Firstly, we delved into the necessity of long-term food storage. It's more than a safety net for emergencies. It's a way to secure peace of mind knowing you're ready for whatever the future may hold. It's about creating certainty in an uncertain world, and it's an investment, not just in your physical well-being, but also in your mental tranquility. Next, we explored the types of food that are ideal for long-term storage. These include dry goods like flour, rice, beans, sugar, salt, spices, and pasta. Don't forget about freeze-dried foods and powdered foods and drinks. These items, when stored properly, can last for over 25 years, offering you a reliable food supply regardless of what the future brings. Then we moved on to the proper storage techniques. The key to long-term food preservation is the environment in which it's stored. Keep your food in a dark, cool, and dry place. This means avoiding areas with high humidity or temperature fluctuations. We also talked about the importance of proper sealing. Mylar bags and sturdy buckets with lids are your best friends when it comes to preserving your food supply. Finally, we discussed the essential items you'll need for long-term food storage. Mylar bags, buckets, oxygen absorbers, and a heat sealer are the fundamental tools of the trade. They help you ensure that your food remains safe and edible for years to come. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to long-term food storage. It may seem daunting at first but with the right knowledge and tools, it's a task that anyone can undertake. Remember, being prepared isn't about expecting the worst, but being ready for anything. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe to Prepping for Tomorrow for more informative videos.